Hello everyone, this is Raja here and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how we can backup and migrate the content of a WordPress website from one domain to another domain. To, to accomplish this task, uh, we are going to use uh, a WordPress plugin uh, named as All-in-One WP Migration Plugin. So if you see that this is the, one of the best plugin uh, for this purpose and we will accomplish uh, our uh, backup and migration uh, using this plugin uh, in this tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to show you step by step how you can take the content uh, backup uh, from one uh, WordPress website and uh, put it uh, to another WordPress website and you can like uh, take the backup uh, in various mediums like you can put it in a file or in a Dropbox uh, or you can like uh, <clears throat> make uh, any uh, there are a lot, lot of formats that are supported uh, you can put uh, push them uh, in any of them and then uh, finally you can uh, like import it in a domain where you want uh, another purpose uh, is like uh, of your WordPress website uh, you can uh, take regular backups of your WordPress website uh, to ensure that uh, if, if, if you have uh, any uh, issues in your WordPress uh, website uh, so that uh, like your WordPress website is uh, not working anymore uh, you can quickly restore your website uh, from the previous backup which is the most recent one and your site is uh, up and running back again uh, so it's a very uh, nice and a handy tool and all the website uh, which is uh, you are which you are running like if it's a normal portfolio website or it's a uh, e-commerce website or a business website anything uh, it must have uh, a backup or uh, uh, like uh, a backup and recovery medium uh, to ensure that it has a high uh, range of availability. So uh, let's see uh, how to do that. Uh, uh, before that, uh, just uh, 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 note uh, that uh, this uh, uh, like plugin had more than uh, two plus million of active install and it has like 4.5 stars. Um, and it has a lot of rating like uh, nearly 5,000 people have rated it fire like five stars and uh, It's a very popular plugin. So let's see how to do it uh, <clears throat> I have my two domains here like one domain is uh, Rajagongopadhyay.com and another domain is demo.com. So if you see this domain is basically uh, running an e-commerce website in this domain and you can see it have a home page and a store page and it has different categories like men women accessories and I and I can I, if I go to the store page I, I get a list of a product uh, being displayed uh, down in the store page and like if, if you if you want to know that how we can create a page like this uh, e-commerce website page like this you can go to uh, like YouTube uh, and you can uh, search uh, my name and you can uh, write Rajagongopadhyay e-commerce website and you will see these uh, two website uh, uh, e-commerce website creating tutorials which are basically uh, talking about how you can create a step-by-step -step, uh, e-commerce website and uh, if you follow this one uh, you will be uh, landing in a website uh, like this so uh, that's basically where this is coming from so I have basically uh, created this website and uh, uh, my target is uh, to take a backup uh, snapshot of this uh, website and finally use the same backup snapshot uh, to migrate all the content from this website to this demo website. So if you compare these two websites, you can see like one website is like an e-commerce website. It has all this uh, capability of e-commerce website. If you go to the dashboard, you can see that uh, in the appearance in the themes uh, if you find that uh, the Astra theme is uh, currently activated in the plugins you can see a lot of plugins are activated like uh, Astra starter sites uh, contact form 7 element uh, WooCommerce WP reset uh, all-in-one migration plugin these are all the plugins that are there and here it is basically uh, in the dashboard if you see uh, in the in the demo.com uh, domain uh, it is using the basic uh, 2019 theme and uh, the plugin is uh, basically no plugin is there from the database level if you go and see like uh, uh, e-commerce website have its database here sorry let me log in once again uh, 
uh, e-commerce website have its database here so if you see there are a lot and lot of tables uh, basically uh, a few of the tables are wp related and then there are woocommerce related lot of tables uh, so there are 45 tables uh, uh, as a whole and uh, if you come this uh, demo uh, uh, like uh, uh, demo dot uh, com uh, uh, database in the back end you will see it has only like 12 tables and uh, basically these are the wordpress uh, tables which uh, we get from the net new installation of wordpress <coughs> another interesting thing i want to show you is uh, the wp user table uh, it basically uses uh, uh, stores the user uh, through which you log in uh, through uh, to wordpress and all other users that you create in here so basically currently i have uh, only one user set up in here so if you see demo i have a user uh, named as user only and its password is something which is encrypted i cannot see that here uh, and if you go to e-commerce and you, you log into this uh, like you check the same uh, table here like uh, user table uh, this is the one you will see there are a lot of a uh, 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 lot of uh, users created but this is your admin user uh, basically uh, which I, I created and here my admin user name is user admin and if you compare uh, this with uh, this is the this is the table from e-commerce website one and if you compare this with the net new uh, uh, demo.com website one you will you will see that uh, the user which was here which was the admin user it's his name was only user so uh, this is another compare uh, place of comparison uh, which we will see uh, when we will do the migration so let's uh, go back <coughs> let's go back to our uh, sites uh, from where we want to do the uh, migration so uh, to do this uh, migration uh, to do initially the backup and the migration <coughs> sorry you need to install a plugin uh, called all-in-one WP migration uh, plugin so uh, you can like go into this plugin page and you can click into add new and you can search for all-in-one WP migration and install it and I already have installed it in this e-commerce website so after you install it you basically land here you get a tab here like all-in-one WP migration export import backup so basically I want to export uh, the content of this site so let me export it so if I click on export so it basically uh, uh, give me the option to export here now now there are a lot of options uh, I can use like I can export it in a file I can FTP it directly I can use Dropbox I can use Google Drive I can use Amazon S3 I can use OneDrive so there are a lot of options which you can use uh, to uh, like export your file in that medium and then you can import that file again from that medium to another website you want so let's uh, export it first uh, let's export it to a file i'll do it in a file now so uh, let's export it in a file so if i click on the export uh, it will start exporting all its content so whether it is a comment or whether it is a post whether it is an image whether it's a video so all its content will basically be uh, compacted and uh, created uh, within a file and that file uh, will come to me as a downloadable and I will download that file so after I download that file that same file I can use uh, to put uh, the data uh, of uh, this website in any other uh, WordPress domain that I want and that WordPress domain will be replicated and become the same uh, uh, like WordPress uh, website uh, which this site is currently so let's give us a few seconds and uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, wait for this process to complete it, it don't takes a, a lot of uh, time but only few uh, seconds it's already 82 you see and it will be completed in few seconds now yeah you see so it is completed and you see uh, it's, it's showing me the size is 128 MB <clears throat> so uh, let me download this one so I have downloaded this uh, file uh, in my uh, workstation 
and uh, now this time is uh, to upload the file in this website so uh, currently you see this website looks uh, very normal and uh, a net new wordpress installation kind of a website uh, so let's go to the dashboard let's go to plugin let's go to install plugin go to add new and then after that we need to add migration let's search migration here you search migration you will find this uh, all-in-one WP migration plugin down here and you can install it <coughs> it will take few seconds After you install it, you need to activate it. And as soon as you make it activated, you are ready to import uh, the file which you just exported from the other domain. So uh, you see, uh, my file is uh, my uh, plugin is all set, uh, and uh, I can come to here and I can click on import, and it is asking me to import, and uh, I can import uh, the file here, but you see there is a restriction down here uh, and it is telling me the maximum upload uh, file size is 2 MB so uh, uh, it is allowing me to upload a file of uh, maximum 2 MB but uh, I have the file which I got here is like uh, 126 MB so let's see how we can increase the uh, size uh, uh, like how, how we can uh, increase uh, the size uh, as so that uh, I can upload a, 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 a file which is having a, a, like more uh, using more uh, memory so these are the four ways which through which you can do it so let me take uh, any one of them let me uh, copy this and it is saying me update uh, dot ht access file uh, so let's do that uh, let's uh, go into uh, uh, the folder where basically uh, this uh, is kept and it is basically here in demo and if I open it it basically opens it in here and let me copy this content here and save it <coughs> Uh, let's see let's see if we can do it now uh, let's refresh it yeah and you see uh, the maximum upload file size is now turned into 128 MB so let's now import the file so if if you see like there are four options now uh, these two options are uh, there if you have the access of uh, the uh, config files of uh, your WordPress uh, files if you don't uh, have this access of the WordPress file you can always contact your hosting provider and ask them to uh, like uh, uh, increase the size or you can uh, like use importer wp and and you can uh, use uh, like uh, use that way but basically uh, since I am uh, showing this demo uh, using this uh, two uh, domain I have created this two domain uh, locally on my desktop so I have the access of this dot ht access files and wp uh, config dot php file so I can use any of the method uh, to update it and you see uh, you saw that uh, I used this method like I just updated ht access file and I was able to uh, get a maximum upload uh, file size uh, uh, threshold up to 128 MB so after I got this uh, let me uh, import from the file and the file uh, which was there is uh, uh, like uh, this one I think uh, yeah this is the one and you see it, it gets import very imported very quickly and after it gets imported it's basically 
like doing all the changes and it will see uh, the import will overwrite uh, all your databases the import will uh, the import process will overwrite your uh, website including the database media file plugin and theme uh, please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step so I don't want to take a backup because it's a net new installation of WordPress. I just want this website to have be acting like uh, the previous website. So I just uh, click on proceed here and it's uh, started its work and it's slowly, slowly uh, importing all the files uh, uh, from uh, all the details from uh, that file. And it is like creating uh, this website as an e-commerce website. <clears throat> let's wait, wait for a few seconds uh, and let uh, wait for this process to complete it's restoring the database which won't take much And it will be done soon. So here you go. Your data has been imported successfully. You need to perform two steps. You must save the permalink uh, structure twice. Uh, the permalink settings uh, i'll show you how to set that optionally review the plugins so i don't want to review the plugin i just want to check uh, uh, the permalink uh, permalink settings uh, i want to uh, open the permalink now if you see uh, this is my demo website and i created uh, it uh, from uh, admin user i for this uh, i created an admin user called user but if i use admin uh, the user and i give the password <laughs> which was there previously it won't take it but if I give the user ID and password of uh, the website from which I have imported the content it actually logs in so uh, you see my uh, user ID also uh, changed here and here I just need to uh, set the permalink to uh, post name and uh, do save uh, save changes couple of times and after I done that <coughs> I uh, can go and uh, visit the site in a new tab let me do that or let's uh, visit the site in uh, an incognito window so you see it's a demo.com and it is opening uh, the e-commerce site which I was uh, showing you previously in uh, here uh, in here which is raja.gongopadhyay.com So basically you see I have migrated all the content uh, from uh, this domain uh, to this domain and it is all the same it has the same store it has same product if you see uh, the reviews and the details you have uh, one review for this i just created this review intentionally uh, to uh, like compare and if i go and check this review here uh, you will see the same review for this also so so basically everything uh, all the uh, like images and all the posts and all the reviews and all the details everything got transferred from this domain to that domain and now if you see the database again uh, now this is uh, your e-commerce website you remember that uh, demo website e-commerce website had 45 tables if you remember and uh, like uh, our uh, demo website had nearly uh, like uh, 13 uh, or something like that uh, tables uh, but now if you see uh, sorry uh, if you see the demo it had got uh, more number of tables and it's basically because all this content uh, have been migrated here 
uh, and uh, uh, this uh, WP commerce if you see the user tables this user had uh, changed into a uh, user admin and previously it was user so basically everything from that site is imported into this site <coughs> so all the important content which are required and you are all set uh, to uh, use this site uh, as your new site and uh, like you can uh, use the same process uh, of exporting uh, the content and keeping the content as a backup for your site and whenever like your site is having any issues or it is uh, it is like uh, uh, crashing or uh, like it is uh, not non restorable uh, from uh, the current version uh, then you can always go and restore it from a backup and when you restore it from a backup it will be up and running again back uh, the same way like it was running in the previous version so so that is in a nutshell like how you can uh, do uh, the uh, by, uh, like backup and migration from uh, uh, one uh, WordPress domain to another WordPress domain and uh, like you can use this uh, plugin uh, this is one of the uh, most common ways to do that and there are many other ways like many other plugins on there and there are many other ways to do that uh, but this is a very uh, uh, like effective way and uh, like it does not require you any more technical knowledge you can just uh, take the backup and uh, you can install the plugin take a backup or take a export and you can uh, take a export in a file and import the same file uh, in any other domain and you will uh, see that your uh, new uh, domain is uh, changed into the WordPress website uh, from which you have uh, like imported all the details of it. So uh, that's all uh, for this tutorial uh, uh, guys and I uh, uh, hope you guys en enjoyed it and learned something new from this tutorial. If you like uh, the video uh, please give it a thumbs up and um, if you are new uh, to this channel uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, I will meet again uh, with you uh, in the next video. Till then, goodbye.